Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan, the final season, part 2, episode number 10, Reaction. Alright, the previous episode, it was uh, an episode which was filled with conversation, nothing else. Uh, our newly formed team, which consists of uh, Armin's team and uh, Reiner, Annie, like you know, their team, while with along with Peek and Magath, and Levi and... Um, uh, What's his what's her name? Uh, Levi and Hanji. I forgot her name for a second. All the all of them just sat down and talked in front of a meal, and it was needed. It was needed if they wanted to become like a team and join together to defeat Eren. They needed to have this have this conversation because people have their differences, and especially you know these people, they had their differences, and they needed to talk about it. Otherwise, there will be that type of uh, hesitation while fighting together like you know they wouldn't be able to fight together and this is Eren we're talking about we need to stop Eren so there shouldn't be any hesitation you should be able to completely rely on your teammates to make this um, plan to stop Eren successful so they, they, they had a little conversation and you know, some way or the other I feel like their grievances were out everyone got to know what the other people felt and they came to an a, a temporary agreement and uh, yeah we'll be able to function properly from here onwards there were a few things that kind of uh, came up in the previous episode one thing was the whole thing about um sasha uh, not sasha sorry um uh, uh annie annie confronting mikasa about the uh, you know like the the whole thing of her uh trying to protect Eren still and you know he she also uh admitted that yeah i'm also the same so that was like one thing there was the other thing which was jan and magat with the whole like you know like jan talking about eren and magat talking about how like you know in the in the past they the eldians were the ones who actually uh controlled the marlians and all of that stuff they had that conversation as well and then finally like, the whole thing with jan and um reiner jan beat reiner up and also the thing with gabi as well gabi apologized everything everything we got to see and uh, yeah it was good and finally in the end when we were out we see peak coming and peak giving them information that the azuma vito they had been taken hostage by um uh, uh Flosh. yeah and the jaegerist so we need to do something about that now so let's see what happens here this episode so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number um, 10 of Attack on Titan, the final season, part 2. So, I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Alright, here's the countdown. 3, 2, 1, go. Hmm. Oh boy. Yeah. Okay. Maybe they want to bait them out or something. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's true. Yeah, that's why. Hmm. Okay, that's... They might destroy it. Yeah. So, this is a stealth mission. What's happening? Um, what a thunderstorm? What's happening? Okay, wait, how many episodes will this season have? This is the tenth episode, so five, six, seven, eight, 
So I'm guessing we're almost at the end or something. Hmm. Oh boy. Okay. Traitor, what? What type of a title is that? Oh, whoa. Okay, well. Hmm. Uh. Oh yeah, 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 that, that is also a thing. Wait, come on, I not this again. Like, we already had a conversation about this. Oh. Okay, okay. Oh, that's why. And that's why I'm guessing Flosh is taking them hostage. Hmm, alright. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't think uh Oh, well. Doesn't exist. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh. oh my god oh Oh, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And was saying like I'm doing the same thing now, like you guys. So we are we're the same. Okay. Mm, no. 
This is not that simple. Like we have a hostage situation here, so. Okay. Yeah. That is moving from the shore, giving us a more. Oh, that's a steam. Oh, I was like, what is? Oh, damn. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't think she knows. Does she know? All right, enough, Magat. Oh, great. What the hell? Like, All right, she knows. She does know. Okay, yeah. Oh, wait, what? Gabi, what the hell are you doing? What's she doing? Oh, she, I think, okay. Okay. Now nah, it's not that. Oh God! Like, it, like everyone's kind of in the wrong here and kind of in the right here. Like, so it's not that they're completely wrong. Okay, that's true. Like, you know, we need to accept our responsibility. There you go. Yeah, that's what I had a problem with the previous episode. He was not accepting his responsibility. And now he is, which is I'm okay with. <sighs> hmm. Hmm. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, thank God. Hmm. Um. I think she needs something different. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, still join. We'll make no exception. Oh, great. That's why they're keeping them alive. There you go. Hmm. I was thinking, like, why Frog team keeping them? Oh, God. Ah. Flux <laughs> like what? Hmm. Yeah. You have people within you which might Yeah. The the conflict will end. Like 
this is what I've been saying from the beginning. Like, they'll just fight within themselves after this. That's what's going to happen after they destroy the world. Ugh. And he's going to kill again. Wow, this guy's just psychotic completely. Ugh. Oh my god. Oh boy, they're gonna whoop! <laughs> Uh, all right, the plan has started. The plan has started. Okay. Yeah, what are you doing, Flosh? Okay, come on. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he sh Wait. Oh, these two. Oh, oh yeah, alright. Yep. They're ready to blow it up anytime. Ah oh, no, ha, poof. How can I say that? Yeah. Okay, I understand why the name of this episode is Traitor, okay. Yeah. Uh. Ah, this is painful. Where's Floss? Oh. Okay, don't. Oh, my God. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, the, yeah, the, the, they still have them hostage. But how are they going to do that? Like, bring the Azuma Vito here, we need to, we need to convince Flosh first, so... Hmm. Oh god. Yeah. This guy I think Flosh needs to be stopped here. Whoa! What the Who shot who? No, what what happened? Wait. Oh damn! Come on, come, come on, come on! Yes! <laughs> oh okay, 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 okay. He's out! Come on, come on! Levi! Oh, Levi can't do anything. Um... Uh. 
Han Ji Wei Tan. Oh Lord. Oh no, where is she? Oh my god. Um guys that's that's just a joke. <laughs> oh no, he's putting it together. Oh my god! Who the hell shot him? I mean, transform! 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 Army, Army needs to transform now. Otherwise he'll die. Like this? By slaughtering the world? Oh my god, what the hell is happening? Someone needs to transform here, I feel like. Any Reiner, Armin, any one of them. Oh my god. Oh, there he is! There you are! Yeah. Yes! Come on! Oh! Yes! Yes! Come on! Just whack him! I, I need to see him getting whacked. Oh! Okay, here we go. Yeah, no way, like, we, we have to do this. Ugh. Oh boy, if Levi was here, I feel like he could have just handled this whole situation. There you go, Armin is out. Oh no, that's Annie, okay, never mind. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh, oh my god, yo. Ah. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, they, they finished the Thunder Spear. They don't have it now. Oh. They just used the Thunder Spears on Mikasa and them. Do Armin! Armin! Oh my god, he'll blow up the boat! Okay, yeah, Armin doesn't need to transform, he just got shot here, so... Okay. Whoa, what's happening? What are you even saying? Oh my god. Yeah, but still, like, destroying the world? Like, that's not the... Come on! Oh my god. I think he's gonna get shot and then transform or something. Or... Oh, okay, he wouldn't be able to shoot him. Yep. Oh my, oh no! Ah. Oh. 
what? Oh god! You know what? I feel like if they... No, no, no. I, I was just going to say like if they actually transformed from the beginning and then went in but no it wouldn't be possible because um they had the thunder spears uh they were able to transform because these guys they all use their thunder spears to try to like you know attack mikasa and the uh, azuma Bitos. that's why they were missing the thunder spears that's when they transformed so they don't have any thunder spears and they took that opportunity to attack them so I was going to say like if they transformed into Titan and went there like that from the get go, they might have been able to just stop them because a lot of people will just get afraid and not attack them at all. So like the death could have been stopped. I don't know. Like, yeah, this is a ah, you can't say. Like there was a problem with the thunder spears and not only that by the like the way we saw how they were um trying to attack them without thinking about their lives i feel like even if they transformed into titans and went there they would have they would have attacked them and get killed either way so it wouldn't matter by the end of it oh my god oh well, Berthold's, his, the things that he said, it's, we're, we're understanding what he tried to mean at that moment. And oh boy, like, I remember in season, uh, what season was it? Three or, three I think, or was it four? Uh, either, either of it, I don't remember which season, particular season it was, but the one where um, Berthold was, you know, like attacking Armin, this and that. Like almost burnt arm into crisp and you know Aaron came in and just dragged him out then fed him to Armin that that whole episode um oh boy I remember being being so like obviously like I'm sure everyone everyone was extremely angry at Berthold at that moment and yeah well turns out Armin and Connie are also forced to do the same thing now killing their allies because they don't have any choice my god this episode you know what i really did not expect this going this this bad like i felt like they were going to just go in try to save them and wouldn't be able to save them obviously so need to they need to transform into titans and then they would somehow like you know wreak havoc in this place maybe like you know rough up uh, fall, uh flock a little bit <laughs> I really want to, I don't know why but I really want to see him get like punched at least once or twice like I really want to see that because he's he's just too much I feel like it sometimes <laughs> I understand his motivations I understand what he's trying to do I understand everything but still still I want to see him getting punched at least a couple of times so anyways I was thinking that was what going to happen and we're going to take the boat and just like you know get out of here but oh boy, like the way it completely went south towards the end, I I really was not expecting that. Like they, they not only like like you know they they had to kill them in their human form. I feel like that's even more traumatizing. Like, um, you know, like killing them with guns. Like my God, like. Ugh. Anyways, um, so okay, this episode. This, this went completely wrong in a lot of ways <coughs> so okay at the beginning uh, we see them keeping an eye out scouting the whole place out you know the ships and everything and they were able to realize that something must be going on uh, since they're taking hostages that means they and they have not destroyed the ships that means they also want to keep the ship and it's a valid reasoning because after the world is destroyed obviously there wouldn't be any technology left only the technology that we have will be left so we need something which would help us to just go out and scout the whole place you know and see if everything's going okay so that's why this ships and the people are also being kept alive because they are the engineers and we need them engineers so yeah 
and okay then at first i thought they were doing this to bait them in but there were multiple things that Frost was trying to do here number one they were trying to find out they were acting as a bait as well because they were trying to find out if um uh, what was it hanji hanji levi they're dead or not all that stuff they're trying to find out that and also they were trying to like you know keeping them alive because they needed the engineers like multiple reasons they were keeping them alive because since this is flush we're talking about if they if he had no reasons they would have just killed them because he, he's like that he's he, he's become completely completely crazy now <clears throat> so we try to come up with a plan um first of all any kind of admonishes them a little bit he's she's like so what are we supposed to do we're supposed to save the azuma Bitos. we're supposed to save the jaegerists as well like what then what, what what are you thinking this is this is some kind of a joke or what like what is this like uh how are we going to get them out of this whole situation so that's when <coughs> and then um you know like uh thankfully annie was able like you know, annie herself kind of realized she's like all right um yeah i'm sorry like you know saying it like that because this none of this would have happened if you know you guys were the same were when they can wear the same place that we were uh so many years ago in the shingan shinan district and it's interesting at this point that rhino remembers aaron's words and i feel like when he said that word at that moment in in the first part of season the final season you know Arm, uh, Aaron and Reiner talking and Aaron said that Reiner I am at the same like you know, I'm I'm probably on like you know would be the same do the same thing as you did and <clears throat> it makes so much sense now in a way because we can see here that as Annie says like if you guys Connie um Armin Mikasa Jan if they were there in their shoes on that day in the Shingan Shima district, they wouldn't do it. They would have probably just went away or do something else, you know, like they, they wouldn't kill all of them. But Reiner remembers that Aaron says that if I were in the same shoes as you guys, I would have probably done the same. So this kind of shows how Aaron is different to the group that, like, you know, his friends, his friend, friend group. He, he would have done the same thing as Reiner. And Reiner realized that and then Reiner said that okay um you know what guys like let us do it because we've we've already like you know like just uh, our hands are soaked in blood and we we have already done all of these things we have committed the sin so I don't think that you should guys should get in there we should handle it <coughs> Hanji comes in. Hanji's like, I'm like, I've also done the same thing. Like, I've already killed a few of the Jaegeris, so I'm I'm not going to be a spectator in this whole thing. Uh, I'll join. And okay, so <coughs> they were like having these conversation and all. Maga suddenly goes to uh, Yelena, and she, he's like, starts like you know, kind of putting pressure on her, torturing her, and he's like, oh, just tell me where where they are, where where they're going and was almost going to kill her for a, for a moment i thought so here a sudden change transformation happens in magat when he sees gabi again i don't know what the hell gabi was doing maybe i think he was like you know eavesdropping or something <laughs> but he, he sees gabi and you know like the previous episode we saw like when he saw gabi he realized something he realized his mistake so again he is he saw Gabi here and he's like yeah what am I even doing and then he apologized here now this is the thing you know like in the previous episode um I was just talking about this the one thing that really did not I did not like about Magat in the previous episode is not that he was blaming you know like Reiner about you know like so many years ago that was not my problem my problem in the previous episode was that he was not taking responsibility that was my problem everyone has to take some kind of responsibility in this world at least because somehow or the other everyone is involved in this mess and everyone has done some wrong in some way so him not taking responsibility for anything at that moment he was just like oh you guys also did this so many years ago 
you know so why are you saying this to us that kind of like you know rubbed me the wrong way i'm like what the hell like you know like like at this point every one of us knows that we are some in some way we are at fault every people is at fault in some way or the other so just you know like bringing the past up at that moment it's it's, it's not a good thing and here here he just completely admits it he's like yeah like everyone has done some wrong in some way and i feel like in the in the previous night i was not taking responsibility for all my actions and trying to pile it up on you guys so i'm sorry for that and like what, what does he say um where is it um armin okay okay here we go even at this late stage i cowardly tried to justify my own actions there you go this thing i was having a problem with this thing in the previous episode um so he actually admits it in this episode and i'm glad about that you know so like yeah this this episode i'm like all right Marat, you're okay because he actually admits his mistake and realizes and uh, apologizes as well so <clears throat> All because I was afraid to reflect on myself and see the despicable side of the Marley within me. There you go. This isn't your responsibility. It's wrong to place the sins of the past on your shoulders just because of your race. Yeah. Speak Annie uh, Reiner. There's no reason for you to be burdened with the world's hatred either that's true as well you know like it's it's as if like any reiner peaks like all of them and like i don't know since they are able to become titans it feels like everyone's kind of putting the blame on them most of the time it seems like it's not like that but it kind of seems like that you know and since the whole thing started because of reiner and like you know them like attacking all of that so that's why he's like yeah it's, it's not your fault as well it was us who kind of like you know did this to you guys and not accepting responsibility for it that's a thing that which i shouldn't have done in the previous uh, uh, on the on the previous night um but we do have the responsibility to remember this foolish blood-stained history and pass it to the future generations there you go all right like all these things like you know they and yelena also agrees yelena is like all right fine i'll tell you guys where Aaron is going because i want to see the end of this I want, and that's why I want to be alive. So, all right, fine, I'll tell you guys. And there you go, Magatha apologizes, and Armin says, like, I refuse to just sit here, you know, doing nothing, and uh, I refuse to just stand here by clean hands. We'll also join you. <clears throat> okay, now we shift to flock again, and oh boy, oh boy, <laughs> flush this guy, ah. Uh. Even though I understand his motivations now a little bit clearer, you know, because he wants someone to just go in there and show the world and he wants that devil and that devil here is Eren. Previously it was Erwin, but now it's Eren. So that's why he's so keen on like, you know, doing all of this. I understand that, you know, I understand everything about him <laughs> quite clearly. I can understand his motivations as well, but still he pisses me off. I don't know why. <laughs> Probably with the way he talks and like an you know, acts so high and mighty, I think that's that probably is something that kind of pisses me off. Because I've I've said this before as well. Like one type of character that I dis like and you know, I just hate in anime characters. Like you know, it's it's this high and mighty type of attitude. Like doing the wrong thing and still having this high and mighty attitude. Characters, enemy, like you know, antagonistic characters who does wrong things but realizes that they are at the wrong. They're all good to me, you know. I don't have a problem with them because they understand what they're doing and they know the wrong that they're, they're doing. But these type of people who knows what they're doing wrong but still acts like this, it's something that kind of rubs me in the wrong way. And uh, I have to say, Flosh is there, but he's not that infuriating. Like, like you know, there are a lot of other characters who infuriates me even more. Flosh is a lot lower in that list, but still, you know, <laughs> he still pisses me off. 
<laughs> so <laughs> and I feel like at this moment, you know, like the way he was talking, I feel like he's gone kind of crazy a little bit because he's just like at first he was like, oh, we need to keep you guys alive. And then when <laughs> I think Kiyomi, that's the name, Kiyomi says like, um, Flosh, what are you so happy about? You do realize that you're just like, you know, just making the world smaller. The problems with won't just disappear. This is not magic, you know. Like, you know, the, all the problems that the world had is going to be back again within those small amount of people. Like I, I remember this. Like a, I, I don't know who said this, but this is like an interesting quote that I've heard before. It's that humans can never be at peace. However, they like you know <clears throat> try to be at peace. They will some way or the other find a problem with someone else. So. So this whole, this conflict thing will never end. It's never ending, you know. It's, even if you come to a mutual agreement with everyone and you are at peace, there will be some form of conflict because, because humans just love that. We just, we, we, we just love that. And it's, it's somehow, it's somehow or the other, there will be some one person who just, I don't know, does something completely outrageous and others will get mad at this little, like, you know, the whole, the whole thing will kind of get divided into two groups then, you know, and a whole war will start. That's basically it. Like, it, 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 you just need one person, one person to just do something outrageous. And the whole thing will just crumble down and, like, everyone will be at conflict again. That's, that's what's going to basically happen here. And Kiyomi says that. Kiyomi is like, yeah, like, what are you? Are you dreaming or something? Like, what do you think? Like, destroying the world will do. You'll be at peace forever? <laughs> no. That's just wishful thinking. And here we go again. Flosh is like, you know what? Um, I feel like we don't need your technology. So, yeah, let's just kill you here. And as I said, I feel like he's, he's gone a little bit crazy now. So, I don't feel bad <laughs> by, like, you know, like, by thinking that, yeah, he, he's at wrong. Like, he is at wrong. He's completely at wrong here. And the way he's doing things, I'm not a, such a big fan of this. And I understand his motivations, but I don't appreciate this. I understand it, but I don't appreciate it. That's basically it. So I, w I was really hoping for Flush to get a little bit beaten up this episode. I don't know, maybe Mikasa come and just punch him in the gut or something. Just, I don't know, punch him in the face and just <laughs> knock him out. Unfortunately, that did not happen. <laughs> Um, you know, it kind of happened. No, it didn't happen. Or did it? Wait a minute. I forgot. He, I think he got... He got knocked out, didn't he? Okay, let's, anyways. Um, so... <laughs> Alright, so Flosh just tries to kill Kiyomi. And that's when Armin and them come. They're like, oh, what the hell are you doing? Come on, let's go. Like, you know, these... Like, the Titans, they're just... They, they're just going away. We need to stop the car Titan. Um, uh, bring out the sh uh, like, you know, ship and the airplanes we need to go and they don't even stop to let flush process the whole situation they just leave and try to go to the boat which is a good thing here because if they actually stopped there and waited for flush to respond um i feel like flush would have realized what they're trying to do so they just told their piece and just rushed out of that place to the boat now even though they they tried to kind of trick them flush really didn't buy it because, like, you can see this. Honestly, at this point in time, Flosh doesn't believe anyone. He's, he only believes in himself. So, yeah, you, you cannot convince him at this point. He, he's, he's far too gone, I feel like. And Armin and they just go to the boat. The, 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 and there's the, these two characters. Person, I feel like. I feel like I've seen them before. But I don't remember when. Uh, they're probably in the cadets, you know, like the survey corps or something like that. I'm guessing I don't remember. But I do recognize their faces. <laughs> uh, but I don't remember them, who they are. Anyways, um, they come to them and they're like, all right, so guys, we need to go, you know, like, uh, so can we please disarm the bombs? And they, they say here, they're like, oh, you wouldn't betray us, would you? Know, like uh, we, we trust you and they're like yeah 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 we wouldn't betray like <laughs> now this was all happening over there while flosh was like oh, okay so are they lying what are they trying to do they could have taken the locomotive but they didn't they came here in horseback so that means they're lying 
but I don't have any proof. But yeah, you know what? We sh we should just kill them just for 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 a little bit of security. <clears throat> and he he points a gun at them, shoots them, and I feel like Kiyomi just came. Just they did not show that scene, but I feel like that's what happened. Kiyomi just just stood up and just restrained him. And again, I was so happy at this moment. I felt I felt like they were going to give a flush two or three punches, but they did not. <laughs> oh well, I really want to see Flosh get beaten up somehow. Anyways, <laughs> Flosh is just on the floor. Kiyomi has restrained him, and Flosh is like, "God damn it! What are you doing? Kill her!" And Mikasa comes in just at that point, just starts, <clears throat> you know, attacking all the, these people who have the guns in them. And oh boy, Flosh realizes what's happening. And he's like, nope, I am not going to be here because Mikasa's here and he's just going to, she's just going to beat me up. He jumps out of the window, I think. Doesn't, that's what he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he just jumps out and <laughs> uses the gear to go out. And he just screams at everyone like, they've betrayed us. You know, like, kill them. Get them. And everyone's ready with their thunder, um, what do you call them? Thunder spears? Yeah, thunder spears. And oh boy, they just hurls the thunder spears at them. And I don't know if this was within their plan or not, or they were trying to do this or not, because after that, you know, like, they, they become the titans, because the Thunder Spears are gone, they're out of ammo. Maybe this was also part of their plan, but the Thunder Spears just completely puts the whole building in fire. Mikasa and, you know, like, uh, Magat, uh, um, Hanji, Hanji, all of them join them as well. Jan is also there. Mikasa is trying to get the Azuma Bito out of, um, you know, like out of danger's way. And all of this is happening. And the whole building is on fire. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> again, with the whole uh, Armin and Connie situation, they have been alerted. They try to kill them. Or uh, not kill them, but at first they are trying to, um, what do you call it, uh, warn them. Okay, um, where is it? Oh, and then, oh boy, um, <laughs> I I loved that scene when uh, Annie and um Reiner, you know, both of them pop out in their Titan form, <laughs> and Flosh is like, oh my God, what's happening? <laughs> and uh, yeah, that was that was something, and obviously, like you know, it did not work out the plan, and. I, I I was not surprised, you know, like I knew something like this would have happened either way because this is like a very tough situation. They wouldn't be able to uh, do a complete stealth mission here. It's impossible. It's kind of impossible. If they were able to, you know, pull this off without becoming titans and without harming anyone, I I would have been really surprised. And there you go. Like this is reality. Like this is like, you know, this is not some video game where you're like oh like this is this is not hitman you know like you remember you know hitman the game where you get extra bonus if you don't kill anyone you know you're able to completely keep yourself stealthy this is not that so it's impossible like this whole situation was just yeah <clears throat> and all right, and they they start fighting, you know, Reiner and Annie, and oh boy, they have to kill the Jaegerists. There's nothing you can do about it, because otherwise they are going to go and get the Thunder Spears back. And since the Thunder Spears don't have any ammo right now, they they have to kill them because if they try to restrain them, it's impossible first of all to restrain them at this moment. They are somehow able to. They they're just fighting for their lives now. So they were going to get the Thunder Spears and just attack them if they did not kill them at that moment. So yeah, but those were that like you know those, that's what were happening over there the thing that i felt really bad about was the thing that happened after this where like armin and connie actually had to shoot them to those two two guys and they were their friends and that's what i feel the most sad and you know like most sad about because like like the, the people they are attacking you know like they're attacking them in titan form while here i feel like like you know that there would be a lot of more mental pressure uh because armin and connie uh, not connie oh my god ah uh, armin and yeah connie okay 
I'm getting really confused by the names. I don't know why. Um, Armin and Connie, both of them had to kill them in their human forms. And I feel like that would put a lot more pressure in, on them. And with guns. Like, I don't know. I can't explain this. But I feel like if they were in Titan form here and they killed them, I feel like the amount of stress and pressure that would fall on them would be a lot lesser than what it's falling on them now that they have killed them in their human forms with guns on their temples. I don't know why, I can't explain the situation, but I feel like the stress level is immense here. Because I feel like they, they, they're in front of them, you know, face to face. Just having a gun in their hand, shooting them in their head, point blank. That's, that's very, very stress inducing. Extremely. I, I can't even imagine what they're feeling at that moment. And then they're, and then they're their friends. So, it's worse than if they were in the Titan form and just punched them or something. You know, if they just punched them and they died in the Titan form. It would have been a lot less stressful than now that they're face to face with a gun at the temples. Something like that, I feel like. Like, at first, I, I, when he shot uh, Armin, at first I thought, like, oh, he's going to die. And then, then I realized, like, nah, that Armin is just, you know, like, um, uh, a titan. He can, he can just regenerate. Unless and until his nape gets hit. No, not nape. Oh, my God. What am I even saying? Uh, unless and until he dies. You know, like, if, if his brain gets shot or if his neck gets completely decapitated. Unless until that happens, he wouldn't die. If there's and it just, I think it just went through his cheek or something like that. Um, so he can re just regenerate. And I like for a moment, I was, I was, I was, I was so stressed at that moment. I was like, oh come on, Armin, you need to transform, otherwise you'll die. <laughs> and then I realized like, no, he won't die because it just went through his cheek. Um, anyways, um, so like. <sighs> I don't know. I like. I don't. I feel like if Armin actually transformed here and just, you know, he's a colossal titan. He can just grab these two guys, you know, and they don't even have any thunder spears. If he if if he just transformed and grabbed these two guys, maybe they could have saved him. But I don't know. Like, ah. Uh, but uh, I guess it would take time to transform, you know. And within that time, they'd just destroy the ship. Yeah, that's why probably they had to shoot him. Like. Like, otherwise they would just destroy the ship. Yeah, yeah, this was an impossible situation. They had to kill them. Otherwise they would just, yeah, the ship would be blown off. Oh my God, this was bad. And yeah, and the last scene we see it, you know, like they, uh, Armin tries to restrain them, but they have the bomb remote controller in their hand. And the other guys like, destroy the ship. And to stop that, Armin had to, Kill him and Connie as well then. Oh my god. And here oh here he remembers Berthold's uh the things that Berthold said that you need to uh soil your hand. Otherwise you can't do anything. Like this thing here, I, I feel like this is another this thing is an interesting thing where up until now uh, Connie, Armin, Mikasa, all of them, you know, uh, no, not Mikasa, I guess you can exclude Mikasa from this. Uh, but yeah, these, these characters, they, they kill titans, they kill their enemies, but they never kill their friends. And that's like a step too far here. They were never in that territory up until now. And to continue and to try to save the world, they had to do this in this episode. And, you know, like, they... They had to soil their hand. And... Oh boy, like... Nothing you can do about this. Yeah, I can understand what Berthold felt at that moment. You know, because... That situation... Now that I see this situation... I can probably guess that Berthold's situation was similar to this one. And he had to had to do that so oh god Ugh. oh my god this episode is insane 
and yeah so that's it that is this episode and hopefully no more deaths happen ah uh, but i don't know <laughs> i'm saying no hopefully no more deaths happen like what am i even saying like I'm, I'm trying to say like hopefully they don't have to kill anyone else who are like their friends or something and they just are able to in the next episode they will do grab the ship and just get out of here like no more of this nonsense i feel like and then obviously when they reach Eren, then I, I guess something is going to happen after that we'll see about that later but for, for now we need to get out of this situation without any more casualties so yeah let's see anyway that's it thank you for watching this was my reaction to attack on titan the final season part 2 episode number 10 so yeah if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say anything you want to let me know and i'll check them out so yeah that's it thanks for watching and i'll see you guys next week with another episode of attack on titan the final season part two um, until then goodbye and have a nice day